Hey everyone, Michael here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a profitable scalping strategy for 5 minute and 15 minute charts. This primarily works with stocks, cryptocurrencies, and forex pairs. But anyway, let's get started. I do like to make these videos nice and quick and easy, so if you guys could, please make sure to watch the end and please make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Now, the first one we're going to be adding on here is the Nadara Watson Envelope. Um, I make, I probably butcher this name, but I want you guys to click on it anyway. And then from here, I want you guys to add a couple more indicators. The second one is going to be the RSI nice and simple here. And the last one, this is a little bit more complicated, but the ATR stop loss, uh, finder, this is going to be from verified. There's another one right here from captain coin flip. I've used it a couple times as well, but I think the verified one is going to be the best for you guys. This is just for, if you guys are really new to trading and you really just want as much help as possible, but you guys don't want to have your screen completely cluttered. This is going to be that strategy for you. Now, these are the only indicators that you guys are going to have to use afterwards. Um, now you have to get everything set up to your actual chart. So the first thing we're going to go do is come over here to the RSI, go over to settings. And I want you guys to hit excuse me, five on the length. You guys don't have to change anything else here. The only other thing that you guys might want to change is take off this RSI based MA. You see how the yellow line disappears right there. I leave it on because I like to see the crossovers. Personally, I have seen people take it off because the standard RSI that you guys will see on the real world doesn't actually have that line. Only the trading view one does for whatever reason. Next, you guys can go over here to ATR. I want you guys to make sure that you guys always have this set to 0.5. Um, the length, you don't really have to change too much. Maybe you want to make it up to 20. Maybe you want to make it down to 10. But the way I've used this indicator is usually I'd never change the length and I always keep it in the multiplier at 0.5. Right? Now, as far as the Watson envelope, do the same thing. Go over here to settings, style. Um, you're not going to really change anything over here. You guys can change, uh, you know, lines and tables if you guys want to. But personally, I don't mind it. Go to inputs. This is where you guys are going to be looking for your signals. Okay. So the way you guys will use this indicator, and this is going to uh, decide how I actually end up changing the envelope here, is you guys are going to be looking for a candle to close above the upper or lower part of the band. And the reversing color of the next candle is going to be your signal to buy. So if we had a green one right here that closed, the following red candle, right? That's where you guys are going to enter into it right here. Okay. Now I don't like this one because you can see how, if you actually uh, did a short right here, see how it kept on going. That's not really what you're looking for here. So I need the bands to be opened up just a little bit more. So what I'm going to be looking for here is making this multiplier from three, just up to four. And you see how it got a little bit larger. Now that little signal that we're getting is, Hey, we've closed above it. We have the following candle. And that's where you guys are going to start to attack. Okay. So now that we have everything set up, and of course you guys may not have the same numbers as me, but you guys are going to set it up to each and every chart. That's the important thing. What you guys are going to be looking for here in totality is three things to all kick off. All right. The first thing, as I just showed you guys, we want to close above the upper band or close below the uh, lower band, the following candle that's red or you know the opposite direction. That's where you guys are going to strike. So we do a short right here. All right. And you want the RSI to be overbought or oversold, depending on the uh, situation that you guys are in. Now, the way you guys focus on this is when you guys open up this trade, you see the ATR stop loss finder. It's a stop loss finder. And you want that stop loss to be very close by because you are scalping and you want to be in and out of your trades. And if it doesn't go your way, you don't want to be stuck becoming a bag holder, especially with something that's volatile, like a Bitcoin or even the stock market nowadays with Google dropping 9%. So if you were to open a position right here, your stop loss is right there. That means your stop loss is a very small one, all right? Your stop loss here was 0.13%. That's a very tiny stop loss. If you open it right there, maybe if you open it up at the bottom right here, it's, you know, 0.19, not a lot, okay? And then what you guys are hoping for is that we come back down to the lower band, or you guys can try to find a short-term level of support, which in this case was right here, and you can see how eventually we reached that level, okay? Now, on the bullish side here, let me see. You're going to notice that there's not a lot of signals. Uh, and here's one right here. And I make this primarily, my, this is my personal strategy, but how I use this, these um, grouping of indicators, I'm pretty sure everybody has their own version of it. But I like to have less settings, but I want them to be very accurate settings. And I think that's the way most traders should want to be investing is don't try to trade a whole bunch, you know, make your money, leave, and then go enjoy the rest of your day. All right. So we close down below. The RSI is breaking down, right? It's in the oversold territory. Following green candle, you attack. You're waiting to get back up to the upper band, or you're waiting to get up to that next level of resistance, which is right up here, okay? And again, 
This is a scalp, so you're not you're only going to be making 0.27. You're going to want to be looking at leverage here if you guys are trading cryptocurrencies. However, let's bring this over to a stock and let's just do a random stock here. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Amazon perhaps. Oh, Amazon shut up six percent. Oh, that's earnings play. Let's not play with that one. Meta. There we go. All right. What do you see? This does not work for this individual stock. Okay, it worked right there. Sure. Uh, let's see. It worked right here following green candle, but see how there's a day thing? Yeah, there's days. You have to adjust it to match. It worked right here. So maybe it actually does work fairly well, but sometimes when we're having crashes in the morning and high volatility moments, maybe it's probably best not to be using it for that. So next up, I added on a Bitcoin 15 minute chart just so you guys can see what it's like on there. Now, this one, of course, is gonna take a little bit longer time, but it still works out the same way, okay? Now, as far as Bitcoin, and cryptocurrencies, even stocks, I haven't really noticed a reason to change up the settings too much between the five minute version of a chart and a 15 minute version of a chart. You guys are gonna see though, there's not as many signals here, okay? And there's no signals, no signals, no signals, no signals. Ah, finally have a signal. And guess what? This signal worked, all right? Didn't close down here, but over here, oversold, following green candle, you attack, and you're looking for either this level of resistance or maybe another level of resistance over here. That one took a little bit longer, but you guys get the same point here, okay? And you guys can use them at the same time as well. Right here, closed, oversold, green candle, buy, oversold, red, green candle, buy. It works pretty darn well, overbought, Red candle still worked out, even though I would say this is a pretty extreme circumstance, but maybe if you guys were looking at it from maybe a five minute, maybe that would have been giving you a better opportunity to actually make that trade. Sometimes it's just fun to see, go back in here and back test to see, hey, if there is a very volatile moment, does it actually hold and does it actually work in these situations, okay? So let's go back over here. Oh, the ATR doesn't go back this far, so we're gonna have to go over here to our replay very quickly. There you go. And the replay didn't even show this actually happening as well. So sometimes it won't, but I just wanted to see if it might with something so extreme happening. But yeah, that's the basis of how you guys are going to use this indicator. If you guys have any questions, drop them down below. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Today's video is sponsored by Fairdesk, a premier crypto exchange specializing in future spot and copy trading.